Good morning, viewers. Ah, uh, did you know I've been on the Treasure Hunting magazine cover? Look, there I am. And uh, yeah, where is it? It's hard to do it in reverse. There I am too. Yes, so I'm your host today, Miley Cyrus. Would you like to see my knees in my messy flat? There's my knees. Right, you didn't. I got the feedback about some of the music. And it's like, too much music. And others were saying, it's fucking amazing. Uh, so, you want banter. You're getting banter today, you banterettes. Because I've imported two of the top banterists into uh, Evesham today. They should be here in half an hour, fresh from Birkenhead. And Birkenhead, if you didn't know, is the banter capital of the universe. So you're getting banter today. All right, you bantits. Got the Bunty survival kit ready. One tablet for his heart murmur, another tablet for his heart murmur. Liquid diazepam that I have to stick up his rectum if he starts getting wobbly. And chicken balls, not chicken bites. Chicken balls. Yeah, it's not easy looking after the bunty, but I love it and I'm not complaining. Okay, what have you done that for? I'll give you a close up. Oh, I've got to go back in the house while I'm waiting for Paul and Lynn now and get a doggy bag for you. Good man, though, really. That's a good boy. Got a strong constitution. And unlike most mornings, you seem quite wide awake, mate. Fair play. You must be excited to see Lynn. I'm not sure about Paul. Paul should have been here by now, Bunt. Fucking Dosser from Birkenhead, Dad. What do you expect? Hey, don't call my mate Paul a Dosser from Birkenhead. I'll have you know that he's worked very hard all his life. I've been a Dosser. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Didn't mean that. Uh, as you'd have seen at the start of this video. <laughs> it's all about the banter, this one. I've just phoned him up. Uh, and uh, you could hear him driving and he's, the conversation went like this but where are you Paul? Uh, I'm just on the M50 heading to Worcester yeah, he's going to be about another 40 minutes but alright I feel sorry for Lynn dad I've been stuck with him hey, what have you said? don't you pick on my mate Paul he's coming to make me an honorary member for life of the West Kirby Metal Detecting Club Bunt fucking bunch hey hey the lovely people and it's like um the Birkenhead Metal Detecting Club they're all from like Birkenhead and thereabouts but they picked the nearest posh seaside town to name their club after because yeah you don't want the riffraff in there like that. That's why we got run out of Birkenhead. Yes. And I'll come in like Alan Wicker. Hang on, it's rolling already. Did it's I press right. something? Keep it going, I'll edit it. Like, Phil Moy has asked me to come down to Evesham to induct Mr. Stephen Gray into the West Kirby Metal Detecting Club as a lifelong man member. And here's the key to, to the club door. Thank you, Phil, mate. Does this mean that uh, Lol gets kicked out now? Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Lol like that. Should have seen what Lol got last week. What did he get, Lynn? Oh, flat. What yeah. did he get? Uh, <laughs> a lovely spade. Lovely spade. Uh, uh, some of you will have seen lovely Paul and Lynn. <laughs> It's good feel for the day as one then. And you're getting a manticore soon. You've yes. already paid for it. It's yes. on its way. I am paid for it. Yeah, it's on its <laughs> way, mate. But you're on your uh, you're on your knocks today, oh, mate. Yeah, knocks. Right, well, no dancing. Good good luck both of you. Good, good luck, luck then. Thanks, Steve. Oh, we've only been going five minutes and I've got my first coin. Nice little ship half penny. 
and I've just been told that Lynn's had half a thimble. That, that's a gift for your lad for the vans, Paul. Cheers, Steve. Yeah, Paul. I'm fishing water pump. <laughs> I'll edit it. I'll edit it so you find it nice and quickly, Paul. Don't you worry about that. It's definitely out, mate. You need a new pin pointer. You need a battery. A load of batteries go a bit steep. Could be cut quarters, Steve. Gotta be little iron in this, innit? Yeah. A little bit of iron like a sad it'd be. Oh, are they? Told her it might be iron, that's the beauty of the manticore. This was a dodgy signal, uh, but I thought I'd dig it anyway because I'm still learning uh, the manticore. Uh, yeah, I know it's, it's rubbish, Bunt, I know, mate. Same Bunt taxi for Paul because he's digging his iron. Send the matter ahead of We've got the taxi man on the job. Great to see you, Paul. Great to see you. They asked me to bring them vodka to the fields, you know? Yeah. Bunty's drank it all up. Yes. He can't walk now, you have to carry him. Fuck! <laughs> Chicken balls, Bunch. Chicken balls, mate. Oh, thanks, Dad. Don't talk your mouth full, Bunt. There's plenty, plenty more where they come from. Let's break them in half for you. Oh, you like that, don't you? Look, you dropped it though. There you go. Get it, Bunch. That's a good chicken bollock. That's it. Have a bit of grass with it, mate. Won't do you no harm.
Just, just walk, Paul. Honestly, if you wait for him, you'll never get anywhere. It's all right. He's a big boy. Just keep doing that, mate. I've had a dog whistle, Paul. Seen as you're not on dog treats. <laughs> Down here anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about old bun, just keep dragging him mate, he'll come with you. Your dad's got you the whistle. Got you a whistle mate. <laughs> yeah, Lynn's found this uh, nice example of a medieval lead token. I've not found many of these. I don't think Lynn's found many. Well, at least up to now, you've got a little keeper to take back, Lynn. Thank you. Well, well done. Please. Well done. Thank you. And uh, we've got we've got the old tabby looking after the old tabby. <laughs> Just leave them to here. Oh, we're having a rest, me and the old bunt. A poor can't get up, he's knackered. I am Iron Man. You've got 10 years on me. <laughs> I've got ten, I'm 10 years older than Paul and I can still get about. <laughs> or is it the other way around? I don't feel 10 years younger. Not with the bunt on me. That's what he wanted, Steve, wasn't he? Little cuddle and a dress. He likes a cuddle, does the old bunt. If he's on his dad, he's happy. I don't know what you're getting up for, Paul. I've anyway. got to get up and I'll be out. Help! 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 Hey, that's actually a pattern on that. Yeah, it's had a bit of silver or something, hasn't it? Or is it RV? I think it's RV. Oh, oh, it's Charlie, I think. Yeah, Charles Regina. Regina, Charles. I'm, I'm going to say. See that? Oh, it's a bit for me to see, Steve. Well, it says RCV. Well, you've got to reset it now. Put it away in your, put it in your gun tin. thinking this might be Royal Cheltenham Volunteers, this button. Early uh, voluntary um, 1700s uh, military button, basically, from the times of the militias and the red coats and that. And these always hold a value. Somebody's already offered to buy this. I don't know how much it's worth yet. But I sold one for 60 quid once, and my mate sold some other very early military button for 500 quid, so... Don't underestimate your buttons, and that is a nice find, that. So, Revolutionary War of 1812, possibly. Um, super hard to find button, all that writing said. So this, this might, Bunty, there might be uh, some vet spells in this button for you, mate. And sausages. Yep, and, so and cider, and lager. And whatever else we can squeeze out of the Yanks for that button, mate, because they love a good button. Super hard to find button. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, you're yeah. burnt out. You like the bunt, do you, Paul? Yeah, I do, yeah. Love him, yeah. I'd have him if I could. You can take him home to Birkenhead for a week. Yeah, you come back, like, <laughs> you, Tom I'll, Posh. I'll, I'll meet you at Ludlow next week. <laughs> get, get the bunt off you. All right. Dad will be bunting this lonely bunt. Yeah, I'd be lost without him, you know. Oh, I would. Yeah. yeah, enjoy yourself, Len. Oh, yes. Had a good crack anyway, yes. haven't we? Yes, Steve, it's great. We're going to go for some fish Thank and chips you. and Guinness now. I'll, uh, I'm getting the tea. And how, how much? And you're is, drinking the Guinness. How much is uh, how much is it to get out on West Kirby Club digs when you go out each time? Ten quid or something? Is it on film? No, no, it's not on film, mate. No. Uh, it's ten, it's ten at the quid. moment. So this hat gets it's like a free pass. I get a free dig on him. <laughs> Do you know what, Steve? I know that. I know. That. got some new neighbours bunt in our car park. Yeah. Paul, Paul and Lynn, what are these free toilet rolls you're giving us? <laughs> you're giving... Normally not. <laughs> they come with the Guinness free bog rolls. This shit. is what you've got to use after this. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Cheers, what thanks Paul. Thanks of everything. It's like, like being at Butlands, isn't it? We've got the big fish suppers. Lynn's on the Corona. <laughs> <laughs> we got the pets waiting for the fish. Ooh. Cheers, Charming. cheers, Len. Cheers, cheers, Steve. Thanks cheers, Steve. mate. Thanks for today. Oh, it's no Good problem. Days. Always a pleasure to see you guys. You know that. Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, put them in your cupboard. You, you can have them. You've uh, you've already given me eight. I've still got. Still any ice creams in a minute? You got the ice creams in the cooler. <laughs> yeah. Lynn, it's been lovely. I'll give, oh, I'll give yeah. you a hug lovely. in a minute. Thanks, Great darling. Day. And I'm glad you found a few little bits anyway. Yeah. You got you a few go bits. Right. a lovely day. Yeah. And uh, Jonathan Pugh said that... Um, I like Jonathan. Paul will always find a hammered. Yeah. Did you find one today, Paul? Yeah, rusty ones. Rust, rusty nails. <laughs> no, rusty hands. <laughs> we didn't get a hammered coin, mate, but yeah. we had fun, didn't we? Yes, we had a great time, Jonathan. Would, would you like to give any uh, your your posse up, up north a shout out? Yeah, there's loads in there. Jonathan, Andy, Gareth, Paul, Lowe. Curly. <laughs> Curly's got no way. Uh, all the boys. Banjo Paul, yeah, Graham, Lowe, Paul Barnell, and Tommy Milan. What about the girls? You got any <laughs> oh, uh, the girls uh, up the road? Uh, just can't every, remember. Everyone I yeah. know. Everyone I know. Right, Who knows me? A few girls in the different groups in the book. Yeah. Manic phase. He's going nuts. You don't half go manic when he's old and he's got dementia. Uh, shout out to Juice Debs and David Sebastian. Uh, I won't see you at Siren Sester with Let's Go Digging on Sunday because they're not fucking going to Siren Sester. They're going to Chichester. And it's all my fault that you thought you were going. Because it's a bit fucking far now, isn't it? And it's quite far for me too. So I might have to give that a swerve. Catch you on a, another one somewhere. All right, you Welsh cakes. Falling bombs. Did, 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 did you ever wonder why 
we had to run for shelter when the promise of a brave new world unfell beneath the clear blue sky. Oh. 